Lord Wayne Carey, welcome to the show, Wayne. Thanks, Gary. Great to be here. The train just down the road from us. We're at the Junction Oval, and you're at the Lakeside Oval. I see you running around the Lakeside Oval a bit there, a bit slow, I notice. Oh, come on, Gary. <laughs> Nicky, I believe over the last couple of weeks you've been out visiting a few primary schools and um, taking kids for uh, skills, but uh, don't want to show them too much. No, yeah. right, yeah. Is the uh, surfing good for your football at all? Uh, yeah, it is, Gary. Actually, it uh, helps get used to the cold a little bit in the winter. OK, well, there you have it. Luke Beveridge, the surfing footballer, very popular with the girls and I'm sure with the young kids too. OK, Dwayne, uh, making the trek down from Geelong. Thank you for your time. You get a great Coke T-shirt. Thanks very much, Gary. Our new squadron detective, Danny Frawley. Welcome to the show, Danny. Great to be here, Gary. You certainly look the part. Uh, what have you unearthed for us? I've got a great scoop, Gary. Over the pre-season, I've found out that Prime Network are now showing the AFL squadron show all over the regional Victoria. Well, that is a big scoop. <laughs> Hey, great to be here. Welcome aboard. <laughs> what, what round is it? 22 rounds? We finally got you. I, I know, Mickey. I was happy to come in round two, but you said you were... <laughs> Keep that stuff running. I've, only, I've heard it all. I haven't actually seen it. It's not a good look. Oh, well, we're, we're happy to show you as many clips as you want to see. Yeah. And by the way, thank you thank for you. wearing such an appropriate <laughs> shirt. It's like travelling back in time to a it is. well, a dag. Boys at time. men's club looked after me. It's the closest I could get, but it's good to be here. It's good to oh, be here. Him. No, no. No. <laughs> Did you know at the time when you were making AFL Squadron that I mean, it was clearly your first gig? What was the pilot like? Do you? No, pilot. Like, no, I, I was I, working I, at the AFL in the junior development team. There was yeah. me, Danny Frawley, and <laughs> Gavin Brown. Now, right. Gavin Brown's nickname's Rowdy, so he doesn't talk. <laughs> Spud's half a lunatic. They didn't want him in charge, so it, that's it, how you're it Last man standing. Did you know I hear Dipper was involved or something? Was, he, was, made, there, was he in the he mix? He did an international uh, run. <laughs> 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 Gary, did you... Now, listen, we've obviously celebrated it this year, Gary, but did you realise at the time that you were making such great television? You're only as good as the people you're talking to, Sam. <laughs> I didn't get a lot back, to be perfectly Not much honest. feedback? Not much feedback from the boys. You know what I loved? Sure. It was a, it's such a brilliant show for kids. And you specifically knew how to talk to the kids in a very... <laughs> Just a kid myself. In, in, a, in a very plain and simple fashion. And in yeah. many ways, you were like a mentor to yeah, them. Absolutely. You helped them through some difficult situations. Um, and this clip with Mark Hunter from the Bulldogs, I think, is, is a classic example yeah. of what we're talking about. Have a look. <laughs> And just getting away from footy a little bit, you're also involved with the trots. Now, what do you, you get out there and you drive them? Or, uh... No, 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 I don't drive. I, uh, I've driven them a couple of times, but uh, only in training. I'm actually in a syndicate which race uh, six horses. Really? Probably the most successful is Supreme Gent. Well, there's a little tip for you boys and girls. the squadron trip money on that. I really, I really hope Supreme Gents got up or it might have been a bit flat at Auskick. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we put our whole $25 uh, in the season trip fund. <laughs> one, yeah, wonderful, yeah. wonderful example of the kid. I love that you... I should have said go each way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have ended with, you know, come on kids, there are a lot of rules in life. Eat your vegetables, do your homework, gamble responsibly. Yeah, that, <laughs> All the big three. How did Supreme Gent go, by the way? Was it any good? Oh, I've got no idea. But I've run, got, run 18 times funny. out of 125 starts. Wow. There you go. Gee whiz. Yeah, I lost a lot of money. On that. <laughs> you lost a lot of money? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> hey, what about uh, now, Darren Kapler? You're interviewing Darren Kapler, and he had some great advice for the kids as well. <laughs> Apart from training during the week, what, what other sorts of things do you do to, to get yourself ready for a big match on Saturday? Well, okay, you've got to remember to uh, eat the right foods, plenty of fruit, vegetables, uh, pasta for carbohydrates, uh, plenty of sleep, and of course, not smoking. <laughs> Yes, he took some, uh, some great advice there from Darren. <laughs> now, that's a strong message to get. Hey, and, and maybe stay off the crack, kids. That was very responsible. Oh, that was pre-game, post-game. <laughs> 
<laughs> no smoking, but by the way, gamble all you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, it wasn't just with your fellow footballers uh, <laughs> that you thrived, guys. It was also a, uh, a handball competition. Mm -hmm. um, and um, have a look at this and just have a look at this and just appreciate your wonderful soft touch. Uh, your wonderful soft touch with this, with this kid after his third handball. <laughs> Out you go, Adam. Two with the right hand. Excellent start. Ten. A bit of Greg Williams in him, I think, here, Adam. Oh, back too soon. <laughs> Respect. Do you think your jeans could have been a little higher? No, that's, that's a, not a good look. That's oh, not a good look. Was a good One of my other favourite segments, Gary, and we are going to get you over here to talk footy in a minute. So relax. But it was the, let, the letters segment, the mailbag segment, yeah. where, oh, yeah. you, where kids got to write into you yeah. and like a direct like connection, yeah. and, you would, it, and you would respond to the letters, and it's a really moving segment. <laughs> An excellent question, Ben, and for your trouble, very shortly in the mail you receive this great AFL Super Action Rebound Footy, which is a terrific prize. It's a football that you can kick to yourself. So if you've got no mates, Ben, the Rebound Footy is the idea for you. Suggest if he's writing letters into Admiral Squadron, he's got no mates. No, there's a football, sure. there's a football with a big rubber string on it. I'm sure so it should have been marketed for the kids with no mates. <laughs> or, or just then, wanted to hone their skills. Yeah. I'm sure he had plenty of mates, man, no, if you're watching. No, no, kids could, no kids could afford the footy, they all had gambling addiction. <laughs> I should mention, I should mention too, oh, I should mention, it's wonderful for Nick and I uh, to see you, but uh, you have a, a strong uh, relationship with uh, Andy Marsh. You're both on SEN and you're yeah, on air station. Right. 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 You, yeah. you are both yeah. on SEN, so this is the biggest audience you've had for a while. <laughs> no, no, listen, this is a book that, uh, this is your oh, book, yes. that, uh, this one here, The Demon Within by Gary Lyon, but if you open it up, yeah. co-written with Andrew Marr. Yeah, well, yeah. So you two go way back in the in bringing this book to well, life. Well, it was a bestseller. Four reprints. That is true. Yeah. I said I wanted. There's a true story. I wanted to write it myself because so, I, I like writing. And I got a couple of months in. And it was too hard. And I said to Andy, "Could you come and help me write this book?" It was due for release in at the end of 2000. So he said, "Yeah, no worries." So he came along. He asked his first question. Went for an hour and a half. <laughs> Good one, though. Good one. Released the book in 2002. During <laughs> 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 that first question, did his watch go off? I can ask. It's not that no, It's a good read. It's a good book. Hey, uh, your, connect, your connection with the kids is very strong. <laughs> and, and for what? what so you? genuine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, hey, your connection with the kids is strong, not only through AFL Squadron, but you've written a fantastic series of books oh, called Specky McGee, which are aimed yes. for young kids. Oh, and yeah. it's a series of adventures. Are you done with that, or do you think there's some more adventures? No, there's one more. There's one more to finish it off. Oh, can I have a guess? Can I have a guess? Uh, Specky McGee and the multi bet scandal. <laughs> is, is, that, is, is it that one? Can I, is it? Uh, uh, is, it, is, it is it Specky McGee ruptures a testicle? <laughs> Topical, topical stuff. Uh, Specky McGee and the Shonky Peptides. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like where this is going, Andy. Pull it up. No, no. No. Specky no. McGee and the Studs Up incident. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Can you tell us what it is? Uh, no, I, no, I haven't got there yet. But he's I... at the draft mm. age. So the whole book was leading to him being drafted to an AFL club, and that was a finale. Right. Oh. Hey, Gary, we're only scratching the surface with you over there. We need to get you over Come here to really do a deep dive into your... We're going to talk footy. Into your glory. You've got one more to do. Gary Lawrence, get it. Yeah.